Hey kids, and welcome to this tutorial. I am Anna from Anna's Drawing Channel. And today we'll be learning how to draw a cartoon bumblebee, a very cute one. So I had a little reference um, for this tutorial. But first, we start, before we start drawing, um, this little cute bumblebee, um, I thought I would um, show you how to hold a pencil or pen or um, color pencil because I'm making this the tutorial for kids and for beginners who are just starting out and drawing so I thought this could be for all ages and everything so I thought I would do an example of how to hold a pencil or a pen so what I like to do is I have these um my thumb and my index like this and then pen I don't know if you can tell rest on the middle finger like that so you kind of create a little um place for your pencil and just kind of like move it around like this if you're not quite quite there yet, that's okay. You can just pause it and um, try to copy. But um, anyways, I'm just making sure it's recording as it is. And to hold a pencil, you just do the same thing like this. So um, I'm probably not doing a very good job explaining it, but that's how I hold it. So this is just for beginners. So we'll place this inside, and today I'll be using my universal pen and color pencils. And I actually will use color pencils because it is kind of like more area and marker, and I just like the look of it. Um, so I'm just checking and see if it's still recording, and it is. Um, when I look up at the camera, that's um. But it's still recording, so that's good. So, now that you learned a new pencil grip, uh, which is this right here, I don't know if you can see, uh, like that. Um, I might do a, a whole different video on that if you want to see how I hold a pencil or pen. I can do that, just leave it in the comments below. Um, anyway, so now we're going to start by making four dots like so and that will be a guide for the circle for the head so we're going to start with the head bring it around like that and usually when I do it in, um, in pencil it's a whole different technique this is just for kids that be very much beginners so if you're advanced, you can go do it your way, you can do it any way you, how you want to draw a circle. Um, and I can also do a tutorial on how to draw circles in a different video uh, by itself. So um, I could do that. And then for the antenna, you draw a smaller circle, like you draw a, um, a line and it goes over and then color that circle in the marker and come over here do the exact same thing and then color that in good job um making sure it's my frame so for this idea for a drawing I thought you know getting summertime getting springtime I'm like you know what this reminds me of summer and spring and I thought bumblebee so this is going to be a cute bumblebee, so now we're going to draw the body. Um, we're going to start by drawing this part, kind of like a curve, and then from here, and then bring it all the way around like that. And then we'll color in the bit after we draw the rest of the body. So we're going to draw a line, or a curve rather, and we're going to mark right here and then you'll draw a line towards that like so good job so now we're going to come over the opposite side 
down here underneath it. Make a dot there. And then see how it evens out like here. I'm moving my pen towards this part and then we're going to make another dot right there. Showing up on camera which is good. And then from here you're going to match it up. And then draw a line like that. Very good. So now we're going to connect. Draw another connect here for the body. Like so. And this is the base of your bumblebee. And then now I'm going to read the little finger. Little tail. Um, triangle like that. And then now we'll get to the fun details in a minute. Um, we're going to do the wings now. So do it upside down, you, like that. You're an upside down smiley face. And then another, making it a little taller. Bring it, make sure it's not up and you'll see why in a second. And then, kind of like that. And then, um... It's okay if it's not symmetrical because it is a cartoon. So now from here, since we did the ring first, we can place the stripes. We can bring that and then just bring the line, the curve, to the other side. I'm just making sure it's still recording. Okay, that's good. And then we're going to bring a little bit, same thing. Like that. And then for the bottom, I'm going to make another. Good job. We're almost done. So now we're just going to do the face. And then we'll color it in all together. So for the eyes. So now you should have the base of the body. With the head and body and the wings. And the antenna. So now we're going to do the face. And again, uh, just a quick reminder. If I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video or go into a slower setting. So, um, that's just a little tip. So, we're going to come down here from the antenna. And then we're going to place the eye. Make a circle. You can make it big, you can make it small, but I'm going to make it that size. And then come over here, make another. You want to do them at the same time to get them a little even. I know I said that cartoon can be symmetrical, um, asymmetrical, and that means like um, kind of not how I explain it, not even um, proportion or it's hard to explain. But um, but anyway, um, we'll make another circle to highlight. That's a new word, a highlight, and a and, um, big circle, and make another one. This is what makes it cute. Um, and then we'll come over here, make another one. And then now, we're going to draw a little smile, like that, and the parentheses, we learned that for the book yesterday. And then, like that. So, and then to make it even cuter, we're going to do a cheek. Just a little round circle. Like that. Making sure it's still recording. Okay. So now we're going to fill in the dark, um, the black areas. Um, then so we got the base then, we got the details then. So now we're going to do color in the black. I hope you're having fun while drawing along, um, or if you're just putting me on the background, that's fine too, um, like that, and then we're going to come down here, and my pen is dry because I've been using it a lot lately, um, so bear with me as I go over it a couple of times, um, So I'm just coloring in the body right now. And then now for the stripe, we'll do the same thing. 
but we will not color in the wings. We'll get to that in a second. Um, skip that because that's going to be the yellow part. Skip the stripe to be the yellow part. I know I just said that twice, but I was trying to reword it. So. If we got in the story, good job. Um, and, um, continue drawing. So. And then now we're going to the last stripe in the little finger in a second. And again, my pen is running out, and I might switch to a marker in a later future. Um, and then I'll color in the finger. So you should have this much done right now. Um, we'll get to coloring in the body. So I'm going to take a yellow, and we're just going to color it in. Yes, I'm using color pencil this time, I'm not using marker. Uh, I like the look of color pencil for this kind of thing. Um, no. I'm not very good at color pencil. My, um, main medium for watercolor and, um, marker. So, if you look at my other videos, that's why I'm going to use often. Um, and also, if you have other tips or other suggestions of what you want to see me draw next, leave them in the description below. Um, I can most certainly do that. So we're just coloring in the body now. Um, and for the cheek, I'm just using the Prismacolor Premier, but can just use a, um, regular Crayola pencil, which is fine. I would be using that, but I don't have that, so, um, anyway, we got this part of the, um, of the Bubble Bee done, so congratulations if you made it this far. <laughs> Um, so now I'm going to be using Sky Blue and Crayola for the wings. So we're going to be coloring that. And then also another one. Exact same thing. And look how cute he turned out. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? You know what? I'm going to make the mouth a little different from the other one. I'm going to make a tongue. Make it cuter. Color that in. And we'll take the pink. And color that in. See how cute he is? Um, so if you made it this far, good job. Amazing job. Um, I have three tutorials up on my channel. I have the cartoon book. On my channel, I have a cartoon ice cream cone on my channel. So, and I'll link the videos um, maybe in the description or maybe in put an iCard or somewhere in the video. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm Anna and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll be doing a lot more tutorials on here. And if you again, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Um, we'll get to some advanced tutorials later, but I'm like, you know, I kind of want my channel to be a kid-friendly channel, so they can follow along too. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!